months of chopping and changing, wheeling and dealing, the time has come. Tonight marks the start of the 1992 National Basketball League season, the Mitsubishi Challenge. The Melbourne Tigers take on the Canberra Cannons in what should be an exciting opener. The Tigers without Andrew Gaze, who's still in Italy, and in a new stadium, Flinders Park. The Cannons with new imports and a new coach. Stand by for all the action as season 92 gets underway. Good evening everyone, I'm Stephen Quartermain and welcome to a noisy Flinders Park here in Melbourne for this big night of basketball. Tonight marks the start, the official start of the NBL season, the Mitsubishi Challenge. And it's also a historic night. For the first time, the Tennis Centre plays host to an NBL match and playing tonight, the Melbourne Tigers against the Canberra Cat. Of course, uh, your son Andrew is still in Italy, not back yet, but you've got Leonard Copeland. How's he fitting in and how will he will he cover Andrew tonight? Well, Andrew's due back on Sunday. It's a pity it wasn't a couple of days early because I think he deserved to be here on this uh, very historic occasion. Leonard is a fine player. He's only been with us three weeks. We got him late. He's been fitting in very well. He's a very good athlete. Once he learns all of our stuff, that he's going to be a good player. In the meantime, I think he can still help us and uh, I guess uh, some of the tests will be tonight when we play camp. And we're away. Straight away, Dave Simmons slaps it to Copeland. Leonard Copeland jams it for two. About two seconds that took, and what a fantastic start for the Tigers. Cannons now into attack. Reese. Jason Reese, double O, formerly from Hobart, opens the scoring for the Cannons. Well, defense hasn't had a chance to play a part in this game so far. What a great start. Leonard Copeland again. Inside to Simmons. Simmons gets the two points. Copeland away for the Tigers. Drives all the way to the basket. Can't make the two points. But the Tigers still in control of the ball. And this time, Leonard Copeland makes the one to four. The Tigers going well in this first period. They lead by 10. 28 to 18. Purchase in for time for the Tigers. Number 12 to Gordon. Good pass inside to Dave Simmons. Two more points for the Tigers. And they're out by 12 now. 30 to 18, six seconds left. One last chance for the Cannons for a shot. And it's a big three-pointer from Luck on Armfield. That was good points under pressure. And that's quarter time. And it's the Melbourne Tigers in front by nine points. 30 to 21 here at the National Tennis Centre, Flinders Park. Put in in that player's place. You can really change the look of your team quite dramatically by a couple of substitutions. Of course, you're only allowed five players on the court at any one time. As Phil Smythe hits a three-pointer for the Canberra Cannons. That's what they want from Smythe, some offense, particularly from the perimeter area. And if he can hit a few more threes, that'll open it up inside a lot better for Hood and Stelzer and Cottrell at the moment, who are on the court at the moment, the big players for the Cannons. Leonard Copeland. Another nice move from Leonard Copeland. Boy, he is burning. 23 points for Leonard Copeland. And 11 points in front, the Melbourne Tigers. He is really making his presence felt here tonight in his first NBL game. Former champion player with the Philly. That was from the bleachers, that three-pointer the Kennedy shot. Phil, uh, eight points down at the half. What has to be done in the second half to get you back in? Well, I think we have to be a bit more uh, confident offensively. We seem to be a bit tentative and we're playing more Melbourne's game than our game. Perhaps we just got the cobwebs out of us. Uh, second half will be a lot better. For game so far. Number 11 for Canberra is John Stelter. Gives it off to Steve Hood, number 44. He's double teamed and it's effective. Leonard Copeland steals the ball. And jams it! Oh, Leonard Copeland, 25 points, and the Tigers go further in front. And another turnover to the Cannons, so they really are beating themselves at the moment. That was good defense by Melbourne. They risked two players guarding the ball. Somebody had to be open for the Cannons, but they couldn't find the man, and it ended up with that dunk shot from Hood. Steve Hood, two points. Four is Jamie Kennedy for a three-point attempt and sticks it. Jamie Kennedy is That's good from that range. Third three-pointer and two of them have been a good stride, stride to half outside the three-point arc. Ball seems to be just flipping out every time. Kennedy tries to force his way in and the ball stolen easily by the cannon. Reese away to Smythe. Smythe for three points. 
and sticks it. Phil Smythe now has eight points this evening. Gives it off to Phil Smythe. Reese doing an excellent job on the defensive boards. That is when Tigers shoot. Reese has seven times got that rebound. Now we see an offensive rebound by Zoner. And uh, that's his first NBL points for a, another virgin rookie. Never been in the NBL game before. He now has two points behind his name. What we hope is a long career for him. Whitehead misses the three-point attempt. Reese charges away with the ball. Gives it off to Kennedy. Kennedy for two. And the Cannons come back again. They now trail by just one. 77. We go. They used to play. They didn't have the 30-second clock. So uh, we'll see how the players adapt to this. Back to old-time basketball as uh, the Tigers have possession. Nigel Purchase, number 12 for Melbourne. They lead by 10, 89 to 79. Good pass from Gordon inside to Nigel Purchase. That was a nice move by Melbourne for the Cannons. Instead of pushing off the ball, let go. Smythe, clever pass back outside to Steve Hood for three points. And he sticks the three-pointer and Canberra will not go down without a fight. And they trail now by just five with plenty of time left on the clock. Gives it to Warwick Giddy. To Sibley. Sibley drives all the way and gets a nice two-pointer, Robert Sibley. He now moves into the 20s. Young basketballers in the Cannons lineup. As Leonard Copeland fires in another two, he has 33 points. And the margin back out to nine with four minutes remaining. Boy, he really is a freewheeling player. Smythe tries a three. Yes! Bill Smythe. What's the difference? Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining. He plays again. Giddy just itches it from her. Copeland! Oh. Oh. Leonard Copeland jams it for two points. And an in I think an intentional foul was called. Let's look at it here. Giddy just highway robbery on Hood came up. Give me that. Does. Kicks it out now. We see the fast break. Sibley to Copeland, and he's fouled, and the referees have called an intentional foul. Eight points of difference. Bernard Copeland, 37 points so far in the match. Tremendous effort. Giddy almost affects the steal. In fact, he does affect the steal, and Warwick Giddy jams it. Goes all the way for the Tigers, and that'll be just about the ball game. Ten points the margin. Great basketball, Warwick Giddy. That's the second time we've seen Giddy just come out highway run. 1.8 seconds left in this game. The Tigers lead by six. Long pass from Simmons, looking for Sibley, who taps it up to Warwick Giddy. Sensational finish by the Tigers, and they are punching the air and right celebrating a magnificent win in front of their new hometown crowd here at Flinders Park, the National Tennis Centre. Come out and see us play, and um, if we can get more fans out, it'll be just, just as good next time. A great performance by yourself, of course, Andrew Gaze will be back to ne next game. Do you think you're going to uh, get 37 again with Andrew uh, Maybe I won't need 37 because Andrew's a great player, but if I need it, I can get it again. And uh, with Andrew on the other wing, it's just going to help our team much more. It's a fantastic performance by yourself, and uh, it's a great first game for the Tigers, so I suppose you've got a lot to look forward to for the rest of the season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, um, we got a great team. we got a great bunch of guys, so we're just going to try to win every game we can, come out and play hard every, every night. Great game, Lenard. Congratulations. Thank you.